Please bring her home. We need our sister. Her kids, they need, they need their mom. Please. A tearful and emotional plea for answers as a devastated family asks the community to help find a Chula Vista mother of three. Good Friday afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Maria Arcega Dunn. Maya Mai Milete vanished nearly just a month ago and hasn't been seen or heard from since. Today, alongside the Chula Vista police chief and the city's mayor, Maya's sister and her brother-in-law begged anyone who may have information about that case to come forward. Fox 5's Jeff McAdam is live in Chula Vista with her family's message in the effort to find her, Jeff. Hi, Maria. Yeah, we're nearly a month into this investigation and still relatively no answers and growing frustrated. The family held this rally today in front of police detectives, hoping they might notice, hoping viewers might help out. I'm pleading anyone out there, please, anybody, somewhere, somehow, might know my, where my sister were about is. Please bring her home. The sister of a missing South Bay mom is still holding out hope. Friends and family coming together Friday outside police headquarters, hoping to keep Maya's face front and center and not forgotten. It's been months and it's, it's been, been hell. It's, it's been, been it's been four weeks and yeah. the helplessness, the feeling of helplessness, the frustration, you know, just just waiting. Um, it's it's really difficult. It's heartbreaking. Chula Vista police say Maya Millette went missing on January 7th. Her husband Larry said she needed some alone time and may have gone hiking, except she never came home. Her sister says Maya's car was still in the driveway, her cell phone turned off, and credit cards unused. When she didn't show up for her daughter's birthday party a few days later, her husband Larry called police. While friends and family have searched nearby hiking trails for signs, police served a search warrant on the family's home, but haven't said what they've discovered. Um, unfortunately, there are some things we cannot share. Um, if it is determined that Maya is a victim of a crime, then the case is even more important. And so we don't want to jeopardize or compromise the integrity of the investigation, but we're doing everything we can and we need the community's help, the public's help, any information. We're following up on any and all leads. Lieutenant Miriam Fox with Chula Vista Police say at the moment they have no persons of interest, but did say that Maya's husband Larry has stopped answering police questions and has hired an attorney. We, we have our own speculations, but, um, you know, we're going to support him, whatever he thinks he's, he's doing the right thing, that's great. And he is the father of the kids, so with the kids need, need him as much as they need their mom, but we need to find a mom. It's just the one that's missing, and without her, the picture's not complete. Yeah, detectives tell us they now have their hands on hundreds of hours of surveillance footage taken from homes in the neighborhood the night that Maya went missing. They're working to go through all that surveillance video right now. Uh, also worth noting here today and pointing out to our viewers, there were human remains found on a trail up in Santee a couple days ago. A lot of people wondered if that was related to this case. Today, detectives told us they don't think the two are related at all. From Chula Vista, Jeff McAdam, Fox 5 News. Hopefully we'll have some answers soon. Jeff, thank you for that.